Well, I started, <laughs> started making this video and then uh, I got a phone call and it cut it off. That's kind of annoying. I wish the phone would give you an option, like if you start getting a call, if you want to end the video, but it just cuts it off automatically. Um, I haven't made a video in a long time and I'm sorry about that. And when I first got a few hundred subscribers on my channel, I wasn't expecting it. It was just people finding me from uh, a comment I had made on a video. And so, you know, I wasn't trying to like have a YouTube channel. I never expected anybody would find it or start watching it. And I really appreciate everybody that has taken the time to listen to me talk about different things and who has left comments and it's been really encouraging and I'm pretty isolated. I don't have any friends uh, that live in my area and my family lives in another state and uh I really appreciate you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been keeping up with the channel. Uh, one thing I realized recently was that my phone has not been notifying me when someone comments on the any of my videos. So uh, if you commented and I never replied, I'm really sorry. Uh, I, I'm not ignoring you. I just... I was relying on my phone to tell me when I would, when someone commented on my video and then I would go on my phone and reply and I'll just have to go back through and reply to everyone, like on my computer, I guess. But, uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. And, uh, I'm laying on my bed. This is where I spend all my time. I just lay in my bed all day. Uh, it hurts to, you know, I try to stand and move around a little bit, but the way my legs are messed up, um, it hurts to sit down. It hurts to sit up straight. It hurts my legs. And, um, I mean, I'm in pain. I'm just in discomfort. No matter what position I'm in. And I have pain medicine that makes it bearable, at least, where it's not, like, agonizing. But, uh, yeah, I've just been laying in my bed all day and... The last few months just watching stuff on my phone and looking at cryptocurrency stuff and I'm kind of burned out on that uh, for all the time I've spent with cryptocurrencies haven't made any money <laughs> like there was a point where I had made some and then I lost the same amount and it's just like it, would, it seems like it was a waste of time. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I really don't know what's going to happen in my life. I think my wife, she's saying that talking about moving out and uh, the whole lockdown thing has been really hard on her and you know, I don't want to go get too much into that. Like, that's her personal life, and it's not my place to, you know, tell her story. But she might be moving out in the next few months, and I guess I'll, I'll just be completely alone then. <laughs> and I don't have any friends out here. I just live out here and my wife was my only friend out here and my family lives in another state 
And my only social contact is just on here and on Twitter and I just lay in my bed all day. And it's not a good quality of life. I'm still glad to be alive overall and I know a lot of other my my other videos I've kind of had an uplifting, you know, I I've been at better points this year and uh my pain has just been getting worse and worse over the last couple of years and I really messed things up last year with my wife and I when I started drinking I acted really scary and I don't think things just haven't been the same since then but that's my fault and I accept the consequences for my actions I don't know what's going to happen in the world. Seems like society is being divided. I hope you guys are doing well. It really means a lot to me that you ever listen to what I have to say I never would have thought that anybody would have cared I mean enough to like actually watch videos of me just talking and uh, you know I know I'm never gonna give up I've talked about that a lot, about how my dad and his dad killed themselves, and I'm not, I'm not ever going to do that, and I'm determined not to, but I just feel kind of trapped in my body, like I can't do anything. And it's hard to think about my life being just going on and on for like, you know, another 10 years or 20 years. But I'm not gonna give up. And please pray for me. And please also pray for me to be healed. I believe that's possible. I really do. But you know, I don't resent, like I don't resent God if it doesn't happen and I understand things happen for a reason, but please pray for me to stay, be strong in my spirit and to have peace and but please pray for me to be healed physically and I'll pray for you guys too and if there's anything specifically you'd like me to pray for let me know and I'll pray for you I really hope you guys are doing well and I appreciate you a lot and I know the world seems like it's in chaos and it seems like a lot of people are upset about things and at each other. I'm really not upset at anyone and I don't hate anyone and I love you guys, and you mean a lot to me, and I hope you're doing well.
I'm glad that you're alive. I really am glad you're alive. I don't know what life means, but I think that it means something. <laughs> I don't think it's pointless. So thank you for connecting with me and thanks for being in my life. <laughs>